external foul drainage system in buildings. As you can see, we have a external building layout. This is your main road in which a sanitary pipeline is running in front of the building. Inside the building, we have two shafts at different locations for sanitary waste pipe. So in this one, we have two pipe system. One is for soil pipe and one is for waste pipe. So there are two pipes running. One is for waste and one is for soil. Same for the second shaft also. We have to drain all that waste from these two pipes to this public sand receiver. Okay. So in that case, what will happen? How, how do we do that? How do we do that? So we use manholes, sanitary manholes to discharge the waste from the building stacks or or the, uh, or the vertical pipes that you are getting from outside the building. We use sanitary manholes. We collect the waste in sanitary manholes and from the manholes, we discharge the waste to the public sanitary receiver. Let's say for example, this is your soil pipe and this is your waste pipe. So soil pipe will be connecting, the pipe will be connecting to a manhole which is placed somewhere over here, outside the building. Make sure uh, as per the different standards, this distance should not be more than two meters. Okay, two meters. So not more than two meters, there'll be a sanitary manhole, manhole. So the uh, the soil pipe, which is which is having the human excreta that will be going to directly to the manhole. The waste pipe will not go directly. In between these two, we have a gully trap. We have a gully trap. So the first, the waste water will go to the gully trap. From the gully trap, it will go to the manhole. Okay. So we already know the difference. Soil pipe is having a human excreta, uh, the waste from WC and urinal and waste pipe other than WC and urinal like lavatory sinks, which is not having the human excreta. So that is having the waste pipe. So a uh, soil pipe directly connected to the manhole and waste pipe first, it will connect to the gully trap, then it will connect to the manhole. Okay. Now, the a pipe, a single pipe will be running from this manhole and it will come here. It will be having a slope definitely 0.5% or let's say 0.7%. Okay, generally we used to maintain less slope. <clears throat> Same thing here also, the waste pipe will be connected to the gully trap. And from the gully trap, it will be connected to the manhole. And soil pipe, it will be directly connected to the manhole. So this is manhole, manhole two, and this is manhole, let's say one. So manhole one, manhole two, and from the second manhole, it will directly go to the public sanitary sewer, okay, to this pipe. Now there are two manholes required as per the drawing, but there may be more number of manholes required as per the manhole design because there are certain limitations. For example, the pipe is bending over here. So there we need a manhole because there is a turn. So wherever there is a turn, where there is a 90 degree bend, you need a manhole. Okay. So if this length from here, from here to here, if this length is exceeding, let's say 20 meter or 60 meter, there is a value. So you, have, you need to provide a manhole. Okay, if the pipe is lengthy, you need to provide a manhole. So there will be n number of, we will take one example of such building. So we'll clear how to identify how many number of manholes are required, where the manholes are required. We have a separate topic for this one. So this is what the general concept for the external fault drainage system that we are going to study in the further classes.